it's eight in the morning. Me and Mike are going fishing. Uh, we've got launch about half nine. I told them to come whenever so we can have coffee first. We might do some um, adjustments to the uh, rod holders as well. So for those of you who like fishing, here's my Spitfire. Okay, which has nothing to do with it. Look at that beautiful thing, beautiful thing. I've just got to nip out and pick up a package. That package is a train, so I don't know why I call it a train. So here we go. That's our day starting. I'm off for four. All right, let's have a little bit of choke, not too much, and let's get down here and start things up. Got some new Converse on, so some new sexy hot chucks, my pervert. <laughs> Got it, it's a train. <laughs> well, there we go. I've picked it up and I'm back. From 1981, the R852 British Rail Ibert Class 260. But you don't want to know about that, you want to know about fishing. So, next thing, so we're going to look through the reels and decide which to take. Obviously, I'm not going to take my big KP, my freewheeling centre pin. Look at that. But just no ratchet, nothing. Just spins. Right, so it's gonna be something from here from my tangle and jumble of flat and reels. So this is the new one, the Alu Pro that I've been using to spin and for bass. So it's not gonna do the trick. These are what I'm normally using for bait fishing. Or those. These are my normal bass trying reels. These are for LRF. These, these are lovely, these are lever drags. They're my taupe reels, got three of those. I might put those on. Um, my big mono reel for uptiding for boats. Uh, <laughs> my Warbird 220s, now these were absolutely hilarious. They were great fun. I to use that today. Um, Don't know, don't know, don't know. As for rods, well, I've got my two solid carbons there, the 2040s. That's what I would normally consider for today. Or the two, what are these, 10 to 30s? What are they? I like these. These are my favourite bait rods, 20 to 30s. Okay. Uh, those are spinning rods, that's my up top. I'm going for these, right. Normally, I don't use short rods, but today, that's what I'm gonna use. Okay, so this isn't the most suitable for today's conditions. These are the maximum stubby rods, they're about four foot long, with the massive, great um, Maximus lever drag reels. So it's too big a reel and too short a rod for the um, tidal flow that we've got, and the fact I've got a fish on there potentially have to lead around the bow, but we can do it, we can get away with that. These are magnificent reels, these replace my old um, Shimano lever drags. reason for using them today is, as you can see, the, the braid on there is pretty fresh. So what I want to do is get that um, nicely soaked so that it can, can, can oh, what's the word, soften and sort of like, not bed in because that's what I want it to avoid doing bedding in so yeah we're going to use that and we get that all ready to rock next important thing so i was rig making the other day um i had quite a good time so i've made a load of tote rigs a load of bottom rigs now today this is what i'd normally use okay so this is a 4-0 running ledger panel rig okay um that's all ready to rock and roll that's what i'd normally use for cod for hounds that sort of thing also got i've tied these circle hooks there AO circle hooks on the running ledger panel okay i'm not sure yet i might do one and one or 
two of those. I want to try the circles. I don't normally use circles, except if I'm targeting um, skate. Rays, rays, thornbacks. Um, I'm going to try them on the hounds today. I'm going to be using whole squids. It's not ideal. If I was using crab, that would be a better hook for it. But we'll see. The only reason I'm, I'm saying I don't normally use them, these ones are a bit large for... Um, for what I would want to bait fish for, okay? Look at that. Doesn't get a lot better, does it? So we just got out, just dropped down. I've got the two small, oh look, there's a bite. The second bite, both rods a bit. Now I've got the circles on, they're both going. Uh, literally just dropped down. Um, got the stubbies on, there's the new rod holder system. That's too close, that needs to go forward will be rigged up out to sea. It's ideal for holding the rods in position. There's my two reels. Um, so it's ideal for holding the rods in position, but that's just in my paddle arc. That's just a bit of a pain there, but we'll see how we go. It's only had one small hole. Anyway, I'm wondering, because I should maybe start pulling in, because I'm getting bites straight away on here. Mike's just there. He's getting set up. It's all good. Well, there's the first one, a doggy. Any doubts I had about the hook being too large, you're gone had a piece of squid I've um, but I've got him nicely hooked just in the bottom of the jaw so we'll unhook you and pop you back so I had this little soft shaky little rattle I thought I'd skate had a few of them I'd skate I had to sit on my hands wait 10 minutes lifted in and he was there and then he was off so I just free it back down and waited Wait and start getting again, and there he is. Or she, actually. Well, this is annoying. That dogfish I had to cut open because it had taken the, the hook right down into its stomach. Um, it's got an egg case that is about to get shot off. So, hopefully, it's not too early. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this back in. I've taken out the, the kind of sleeve channel that it comes down I don't know if we can see through it you can see the yolk in there okay I'm gonna pop that into the water let it float and do its do its own thing and hopefully that's gonna survive and grow into a dogfish I don't like killing dogfish because they're, they're not that big they taste really good but they're not that big so I don't worry about it because I can catch a smooth hound instead and one of those is, is like eight dogfish to eat even if it's, you know, more if it's a big one. Anyway, so we're going to pop this back. Well, that was a lovely fine day's fishing, wasn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> both fish. got loads of fish. Well, we both got a meal out of it. Or two. It was alright, that. <laughs> 